Hey guys, welcome back to Sip and Dip with Chelsea and welcome to giveaway number two of my 10K giveaway celebration. And as you can probably guess by those products up there, today's sponsor for this giveaway is Dipwell. So Dipwell is giving two of y'all the chance to win each a $100 gift card to go on your own little shopping spree on their website. So as you can see, I am already back to the round nail shape. I had square for like a week and I just cannot hang anymore. So I keep running back to this shape. But today's video, I thought it would be fun to show y'all how to do that really trendy sugar nail effect, but with dip powder liquids. I'm also going to show you how to get matte nails with just dip powder liquids. Really easy, very simple, but let's go chat about how to enter this giveaway. So here's the information on the giveaway. There will be two winners and each of you have the chance to win a $100 gift card to dip well. So you can go on your own little shopping spree. The giveaway is going to end in one week. So on January 26th, here is how you enter. Just make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Please like this video. It really helps me out with the algorithm. And then comment down below the best way to reach you, whether that be your email address or your Instagram handle. So now to the nails. I've got natural pink. This will be my base shade. And then I'm also using Dipwell's liquids. I wanted to show y'all, I feel like this is the ultimate testimony to dip powder liquids. As you can see how low I am on this base. I use this product all the time. I really love their brushes. You'll see here how nicely it fans out. It has that round shape, which gives it such a luxurious application. It goes on seamlessly. I feel like a broken record because I say this every single time I feature them on my channel, but I really do enjoy their products. This natural pink shade is definitely one of my more frequently used go-to pinks because it's a very neutral, almost transparent pink, but it works great for French. It works great for baby boomer and especially something like this where I'm wanting to do a design on top. So I'm gonna do three full dips of this pink. I'm not gonna clear encapsulate. I'm basically gonna use that third dip of the pink as my clear encapsulation layer. Because it is a lighter shade, I'm just trying to build up opacity a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry and then dust off. Now that it's dry, I'm just gonna use my stiff scrub brush to remove all of that excess powder. So for my second layer, it's gonna be the same steps, just doing a full layer of my base coat liquid across the entire nail, avoiding my skin and sidewall area, and then dip into the powder. So for my third full layer of pink, it's gonna be the exact same steps. So instead of boring y'all to death and making you watch that whole process again for the third time, I'm gonna go ahead and do it off camera. So I am all done with my third and final layer. I am just dusting it off here and now I can activate. So with my activator, I'm gonna apply a very generous layer of this to all of my nails. This is what's going to harden the dip powder so that I can file shape and buff. Once I am done, I'm gonna let this dry for two minutes. I will file and shape off camera again and see y'all in just a sec. So I am all done filing and shaping and I wanna chat with y'all about a few options that you have when you're doing matte nails with dip powder liquids. So one option would be to still add the top coat. Here are the steps at this point in the manicure. So you have file, shaped, and buffed. So next you will continue and activate just like you normally would and let it dry for two minutes. Then apply one layer of your top coat, let that dry, buff off the top coat, and then activate again. This will give your nails the strength of the top coat, but the matte effect. 
So y'all know I like to keep things simple. So at this point, if you did not wanna do the sugar nails and this is it, you are done. All you would have to do is apply another layer of activator and that is it y'all. They will be matte and you don't have to do anything else. But because I am gonna be doing these sugar nails on top, I'm gonna use rubbing alcohol to cleanse them and get them ready for all of those little tiny hearts that I'm about to make. So here is the lineup for the colors that I use for the hearts. I used French White, which is just a perfect pure white shade. And then GL46, it's a gorgeous, chunky glitter rose gold. I really love the smaller glitter pieces inside of this one. And then NA11, this is a mauve neutral pink shade. Now, while this might be easier with gel liquids, I want to show y'all that it is still possible with dip powder liquid. So if you have a gel allergy, you can still have fun and do these sugar nails too. So with my brush, I am going to freehand paint these hearts. So basically two lines and connect them at the bottom. I really like Dipwell's liquids for something like this because it is a slower drying base liquid. So I have time to sort of reshape the hearts if needed. Then I gently lay my nail flat on top of the powder and let it absorb into the base liquid. Tap off and that is it. Look at how cute and how simple. So if you have any edges or things you wanna clean up, I'm just gonna show you, you can use a metal cuticle pusher or any sort of tool to sort of push that product back into place if you need to. So now I'm gonna start on my second heart. This is going to be that mauve pink shade following the same steps, just doing two simple lines and then laying my nail flat on top of the powder. Since it's dry, I'm gonna dust off in that area here where I wanna do my third and final heart. And I'm doing the same steps, y'all. It is so easy, just two lines and then lay your nail flat on top of the powder. So I'm just going to gently tap them down and then use my cuticle pusher to rearrange those glitter pieces that are a little bit bigger so that nothing is standing up or sticking out and just reshape my heart into place. So once that's dry, we can start on our second layer for our hearts. So we're gonna trace over top of our first white heart with our base liquid brush. And now is the time, if you feel like you want them to be a little bit bigger or clean up a little bit more in certain areas, this is the opportunity when you're doing your second layer. It is important to make sure that each of the hearts are dry before moving on to your second color so that you don't stain them or ruin the pigment of the color. If you're using dip powders that are super pigmented and you can get away with one layer, then absolutely go for it. I just wanted mine to be really opaque. All right, so I am done with this nail. I'm gonna go finish up the other ones real quick. So here are the other ones and I, I can't y'all. I love them so much. I know it is so over the top with all of these hearts, but I think it is so fun. And of course, perfectly fitting for Valentine's day. So now I'm going to activate. So we're going to apply a generous layer of this to all of the nails over top, all our little tiny hearts. So this is gonna serve as our second activator. If you remember, I skipped it earlier and I did rubbing alcohol. So this is my second layer of activator on that base pink shade on my nails. And it's also going to harden these hearts so that I can show you how to clean them up if you need to or buff them smooth. So I'm gonna let this dry for two minutes and then I can show you how to clean up the hearts. So I've got my buffing block here from Dipwell and I just wanna show you, if you find that the hearts are a little lumpy or uneven or you have some edges that you wanna clean up, you can do so very gently with a buffing block. I'm just gonna show you right here. I angle it to only touch on this white heart. I do not wanna buff on top of that glitter because we don't have anything protecting it. So the glitter is gonna stay as is. If you do over buff on glitter, you can remove the color. So I just wanna show you how easy it can be to sort of gently buff over top of the white hearts so that they're a little bit more smooth and even. So I'm gonna apply one more layer of activator. I know you're like, wow, that is a lot of activator. But remember, we haven't done two layers of activator yet on the hearts. So we're just making sure that they are sealed in really, really well. I am not doing any top coat on top of this. This is it, you guys. This is like the super fast, easy way to get matte nails, no top coat needed, just activator when you're using dip powder liquids. 
So here's the final product and I am officially sad that I put peel base on because I want to wear this up until Valentine's Day. I hope that you guys found today's video helpful. Good luck to everybody on this giveaway. I cannot wait to see who wins this shopping spree and thank you guys so much for being here. I hope y'all have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video.